First, some breaking news in that Spokane ricin case. The FBI says Matthew Bouquet is responsible for sending more ricin lace letters than we originally thought, including one to the President of the United States. The FBI says that he is responsible for sending a total of five letters. Bouquet is now in jail. He was arrested last week. And KXY 4's Annie Bishop live in our newsroom. She is following this breaking news. Annie? And the FBI releasing this information literally just a half an hour ago. Perhaps the most troubling of all this, the FBI says one of those letters, possibly laced with Bryson, is still missing, unaccounted for. This is what we know tonight. The FBI says Bouquet sent five rice and lace letters. The first letter arrived at the U.S. Post Office in downtown Spokane on May 14th. That one addressed to federal judge Fred Van Sickle. The second letter also arrived on the 14th addressed to the post office itself. And tonight we have learned a letter addressed to President Obama was intercepted on May 22nd. A third letter sent to Fairchild Air Force Base intercepted also on May 22nd. And finally, a fifth letter sent to the CIA headquarters was detected on May 22nd as well. However, the FBI says that letter was sent to an address that does not receive mail. Still looking for that letter tonight. The FBI tells us all the letters uh, allegedly sent by Bouquet were consistent, all handwritten in red pen. Now, it is not clear what led the FBI to Bouquet. They spent 15 hours searching his apartment at first in Oak and, Brown, Oak and Brown's edition a week and a half ago. Every agent that went in had to be decontaminated when they came out. And still, it wasn't until four days later that Bouquet was actually arrested. Bouquet was supposed to have a bail hearing Tuesday where we would have learned much more about this case, but he wavered his right to that hearing. Much of the case file has been sealed, but yesterday prosecutors filed a motion in court describing this case as very complex. Little did we know just how complex they meant. Now, of course, we are continuing to gather information about this breaking case. We'll bring you much more stories uh, on this coming up tonight on KXLY 4 at 6. Nadine.